This Friday marks the beginning of three days filled with inspiration, play, and unspeakable joy. It's the second annual Black Girl Day of Play, and here to tell us all about it is the founder of the nonprofit Grit, Glam, and Glutz, Cameo King. How are you, Cameo? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming and for putting on this incredible event. Now, before we talk about this three-day extravaganza <laughs> that we have, I want people to really understand you and where your passion comes from. And you are all about making sure that women and girls are able to show up in spaces authentically. But can you tell us a little bit about where that passion came from? Definitely. Um, so I think I went through a period in my life, and I think we all do, where we abide by rules and guidelines, where people tell us how to be women, where people tell us how to girl, where people tell us how to show up. And I found that that really wasn't helpful to yeah. women. I found that that really wasn't helpful to young girls and becoming the best version of themselves. And so so that's very much where the movement began because as I began to show up authentically as myself, just simply being myself in every space possible, that's when things started to happen. That's when things started to change. That's when I began to access that unspeakable joy and really mm -hmm. just flowing in freedom everywhere I went. That's amazing. And now speaking of accessing that joy, so that's why we have the Black Girl Day of Play, but how did that come about? Um, so it started in COVID. You know, a lot of things were happening in COVID. Mm -hmm. We were inside our homes. We weren't connected to our communities. And also, America was doing a lot of reckoning with its soul. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that specifically black women and girls, they didn't have a lot of spaces to show up authentically as themselves, right. whether it was in the community, whether it was on the job. And so I wanted to create a space where they know that they deserved that unspeakable joy and also where they know they had a community to support them. Now, last year, this was a one-day event, but now it's become a three-day event. What happened last year? Tell us a little bit about that and how it ended up expanding. Um, so the center of the event was actually play, right? Play, mm -hmm. joy, we know what happens in play. One, you're outside, you're moving, unlike we were doing in COVID, and that access, that allows us to access, you know, mental health, wellness, mm -hmm. that allows us to move our body, and that was great. You know, you had people literally swinging on the lawn, the Capitol lawn, um, um, you had people hustling, you know, doing line dances mm -hmm. on the Capitol lawn. Um, just, I call it a, a black party plus black girl magic, all on the Capitol lawn. Um, and while I thoroughly enjoyed that, while we got a lot of feedback from it, I felt that there was something missing, right? And when I say something missing, um, there are things that happen in the hearts of women. And making sure that they understand that while it's one day, you should be accessing this every single day and be intentional about accessing it every single day. And so that's why we created an event on Friday and we created an event on Sunday to really speak to the hearts and really hopefully connect with women and let them know that. That is so amazing. Now tell us what, tell us more about that three day event that we're gonna see. I know we're gonna see more balls like this, like you said, <laughs> we're still gonna have that play involved as well. But tell us more about what we'll see. Definitely, um, so Friday, um, it's a panel discussion and we have a mental health therapist, we have a, a domestic violence advocate, we also mm -hmm. have a community organizer that's there talking about the things that hindered us from our joy. It's like prepping your hearts to really play, prepping your hearts to really uh, you know, access that joy I talk about. And so and then Saturday, it's the obvious day, the day of play, mm -hmm. where we're literally running on the lawn, double dutching, listening to music, eating, food vendors, basketball, just joy all over the place. Um, and then Sunday we have a brunch where we really want to bring the community back together and talk about everything that, it, that they experience and also thank those who have supported us, whether it is behind the scenes as a volunteer, whether it is a sponsor, whether it is someone like you. <laughs> Um, to come on over to our brunch and just uh, uh, revel in the joy that was experienced this past weekend. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Cameo, for getting the entire community involved and just creating that space that you said where women can really be authentically themselves in every single area it is that they go and really teach them to access that joy inside of them. What's one thing you want people to know when they arrive at the event? Be your full, free, authentic self. Thank you so much. Thank you.